Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 25 problem from the June Lead Coding Challenge. Find the duplicate one. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given an array nums containing n plus 1 integers, where each integer is between 1 and n, assume that there is only one duplicate number. Find the duplicate one. For example, 1, 2 is getting repeated while for the second one, 3 is getting repeated. Let's see the various basic approaches that we can use and finally we will see the most optimized algorithm used for such questions. We can solve this without using an extra space by sorting the input. In this approach, we will first apply sort to our input array and then iterate over the sorted array. We will compare each element with its previous element. If the match is found, we return the element. The time complexity for this will be O of n log n and the space will be O of 1. Second method is to use set. This way we can reduce the time but we will be using an extra space. So we will first initialize the set then we will iterate over the array and try to add the element in the set. If the element already exists we will return the element else we will add it in the set. Here the time complexity reduces to O of n but the space complexity also becomes O of n. Now let's take a look what makes this question tricky. Here are a few constraints attached with the question. First, you must not modify the array, so we cannot apply sorting. Second, you must only use constant space, so we cannot use the set as well. Third, your runtime complexity should be less than O of n square, so we cannot use the basic nested loop to compare each value with all the other values in the array. Fourth, there is only one duplicate number in the array, but it could be repeated more than once. Considering all the constraints, now comes the most optimized algorithm, the Floyd's tortoise and hare cycle detection approach. It contains two phases. One is detecting the cycle and other is finding the entrance of the cycle. Let's consider this input. If we draw it as a linked list, we can see that it contains a cycle and its entry point is the element which is getting repeated. Thus, the Floyd's tortoise and hare algorithm will work for our solution. The algorithm works in two phases. The phase one is to detect the cycle which can be seen in this diagram. And the second phase is to find out the entry point of the cycle which is two for this example. Let's see how we will use it for our problem. Let's take this example to better understand the working. To visualize it as the linked list we saw earlier, we will start with 0. As the element at 0 is 2, our linked list will start from 2. The next element will be the element at num of 2, which is 9. The element after 9 will be the element at num of 9, that is 1 and so on. The final diagrammatic representation of our input will look like this. Now, we will take two pointers, hare and tortoise. A tortoise will move one step at a time while the hare will move two steps. Initially, the hare and tortoise will be at the start. In the first iteration, the tortoise will move one step and hare will move two steps. Again, the same. We will repeat this till the hare and the tortoise comes at the same element. Here, we can see that hare and the tortoise are at the same position. So, we have come to the end of phase one. Now we will move any one of them to the start. This time we will move them at a constant speed of one step and stop when they meet again. As they both are again at the same position, our looping condition will break and we will return the element which in this case is 9. Here's the algorithm. We initialize two pointers, tortoise and hare. Then we move tortoise one step and hare two steps. We repeat this until both are unequal. Then we start finding the entry point. We move one of them back to num of 0. And while they are not equal, we keep moving them one step at a time. Once they are equal, we return the value from any one of them as both of them hold equal values. The time complexity for this algorithm is O of n while space complexity is O of 1. Here's the code snippet. Also, check out the link to the Java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment what you think about the video.